Here is the freshly out of the pack Exotech Yeti HDX chassis set. So in the package they include some new battery tie downs, a couple of carbon fiber pieces. This one goes uh, connects the front diff to the chassis and this one acts as your battery tray or the remainder of your battery tray and goes on right over here. Obligatory bag of screws and hardware. New turnbuckle, so I guess the servo mounts a little further back, so I think this turnbuckle is a little longer than the factory one. Smattering of stickers. And what looks like a uh, fairly in-depth instruction sheet. Um, you can tell some time was definitely spent putting this together. Um, I haven't verified everything for uh, correctness yet, um, but uh, at first glance, uh, I was moderately impressed with the instruction sheet. Um, I'm sure, as y'all are aware, a lot of times when you order aftermarket parts, they just assume you're going to figure it out, which which is cool. Um, but seeing a company actually take the time to include some instructions on how to properly use their gear is always a nice touch, too. Um, So yeah, this chassis here um, is actually going to be going on this rig right here. This is the first hobby grade RC I bought, and it was a Yeti 380 RTR. It doesn't have much left in the way of stock stuff anymore. The uh, chassis frame and upper cage here are about the only stock bits left. Uh, it's got the Vanquish goodies up front, some uh, custom made links from a guy on Facebook, um, Castle Censored System, a bunch of HR goodies, carbon fiber, so I tried to keep the weight down while still upgrading it because the Yeti's uh, a bit of a big girl, um, so uh, I tried to keep weight down, didn't want to add too much heavy aluminum all over, so, um, but it's still very top heavy and with the way everything's placed, the ESC up high, the battery up high, the extra weight up high. So I'm really hoping this extra little bit of weight, as I've tried to keep weight down <laughs> as I've been upgrading it, hoping this extra bit of weight down low will um, really help with its help with its balance. Um, narrowing of the chassis should also help it not get stuck on as much stuff. Um, so I'm not going to be bashing the Yeti as much anymore. Um, it was never a you know real hardcore basher. I mean, I never took it 20 feet up in the air or anything, but it saw its fair share of jumps and stupid antics, um, and it showed. You know, I've been through probably, oh man, I don't know, probably at least six, seven um, sets of uh, A arms here. They would uh, frequently break um, here at the hinge pins. Um, the hinge pins would bend as well sometimes, but I went with the uh, DIY uh, sleeving on them, which kept my hinge pins from bending, but then it would make the uh, that loop on the A-arm um, snap off instead. So to go with the Exotech, I went ahead and picked up a set of Zeus Strong Arms. So I'm hoping the actual legit um, strong arms instead of my homemade version will hold up a little bit better to the moderate abuse it'll see now. Um, I said it's it's not going to be bashed much more um, now that I have some actual real bashers with the armas to uh, take bashing. So, um, so anyways, back to the Exotech kit. Um, all in all, the machining and everything looks really good on it. The finish is very nice, very um, even, and all of the holes for the screws, um, nice and clean. I, I don't see any, you know, any defects on it. I do like how it has the mounts um, integrated into the frame, into the chassis, but this doesn't leave much room here for an ESC. Um, like I said, I've got the Monster X in there now. I am 100% certain that is not going to fit under there. So. I may try and run it fanless, um, drop it down to maybe the 2400 KV and leave it on 3S. Um, I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to handle that yet. Um, the Yeti, as you'll notice, is missing a rear axle. I pilfered some parts for the Wraith that I built up. 
So uh, I'm still waiting on a couple to a few parts to come in, but um, yeah, this Exotech is going to be going uh, together pretty soon with that Yeti. So it'll probably be one of the last upgrades I do to it. Um, there won't really be much else left after that. So, um, so yeah, all in all, initial impressions of the Exotech kit or the Exotech HDX chassis um, are pretty good. You know, some concerns with height for the ESC, and this is definitely not increasing durability for the Yeti, I wouldn't think. Um, you know, you're just going to have the diff, the hinge pins, and this brace holding the front end together. Um, so I, I definitely wouldn't get this kit if you, you know, you want to send you, send the Yeti uh, if you're doing hardcore bashing with it. But as a rock racer or crawler, um, I think it should be a great addition to it. Um, we will find out soon for sure. So I'm probably start this build here, probably go in tandem with the uh, Red Cat. But uh, this one probably kick off here in the next two, three weeks as well once I get the rest of the parts in. So, uh, so if y'all are on the fence about the Exotech kit, don't have a final answer for it yet, um, but initial impressions look pretty good um, if you take those considerations into account for the ESC height and this not exactly being the most robust front end here for it. So appreciate y'all watching and hit that like and subscribe if you haven't and we got a lot more coming for sure. Thanks everyone.